Hello and welcome back to Haslam Practice Field. I'm Ryan Sylvia, joined by Noah Taylor. We're with VolReport.com on the Rivals Network. And guys, unfortunately, there is no more practice viewing for <laughs> media until probably bowl season. Yeah. So not going to be able to give any updates from what we see on the field right here, but we're still meeting with guys on the team today. It yeah. was special teams coordinator and outside linebackers coach Mike Eckler, who's always a great interview. So he had some great quotes today. And then also return man and cornerback D. Williams, kicker Charles Campbell and punter Jackson Ross. So we're going to jump right into what we heard in those interviews. Noah, what was the, the biggest takeaway you had from what Coach Eckler had to say? Yeah, you're right. It's, it's always exciting when Mike Eckler gets up there. You're always due for a couple good sound bites, and we definitely got a few today. But as far as the what's happening on the field, what he's been seeing in that special teams unit, the return game for Tennessee, I think, has the potential to really give them an edge. We saw flashes of it last year. D. Williams coming in, he, he was a lot limited this time last year with a hamstring injury. We got to see him against LSU. He made an immediate impact. And then obviously at the end of the regular season against Vanderbilt, he had a, a kick return for a touchdown. Uh, you know, he, he talked about, Mike Hegler talked about just the options they have back there. Yeah. That kind of what stood out to me because D. Williams, one that jumps off the page because we've seen what he's able to do. Squirrel White is a guy he said's capable. Dylan Sampson, Cam Seldon, the two running backs. It, it just seems like there's a lot of optimism about, you know, we know how good Tennessee's offense can be. It's probably going to be very good again this year. When you have that edge in special teams and, and yeah. being able to flip the field like that, I think that's a huge deal for Tennessee, and they seem to be very optimistic about the options they've got in the return game. Yeah, and D. Williams, of course, a very experienced returner, had a lot of success last year. Hinted that there might be another touchdown celebration. <laughs> so first time D. Williams finds the end zone this year, make sure you keep your eyes out for, for something special. Of course, he did the, the fake hamstring <laughs> into a dance uh, against Vanderbilt. So he's got another one up his sleeve, it seems like. So that'll be interesting to see. I want to talk a little bit about Charles Campbell and Jackson Ross, though. Mike Eckler hinted that Jackson Ross, phenomenal athlete, says he could play receiver if he wanted to. Probably has, he's, what do you say, the third best arm on the yeah. team and then switched it to the fourth <laughs> because he doesn't want to disrespect uh, Josh Heupel too much. Jackson Ross, of course, saying that, that he's taken over Heupel due to age at this <laughs> yeah. point. But he's a guy from Australia that played Australian rules football over there, so not the exact experience as an American football punter but clearly has the leg to make it work. That's why he's here and in position as a redshirt freshman to be that punter and that guy in Eckler's special teams unit. Uh, another thing he's got to learn to do though, I asked him, are, are you in line to be the holder? We saw him hold four kicks in the orange and white game. He said, yeah, I've been working on it. Not something I really did over in Australia, but getting used to it, getting the feeling down. So that's gonna be a new exchange there. Matthew Solansky, veteran long snapper at this point, sending him balls. but. That unit at the back end with the hold and the kick is going to be a little bit new as Charles Campbell, an experienced kicker, but over from Indiana, Tennessee in-state kid, coming back home, but experience over in the Big Ten prior to this. I asked him about Kiki and Neyland. Uh, before we talked to him in the spring, he talked about it a little bit saying, you know, it's not too different. The wind's a little different playing a big stadium like that. There's some differences here and there, but it's not too bad. Asked him for an update now that he's played in the orange and white game in a handful of scrimmages. He said that it, it really isn't too big of a difference. There's a couple things here and there that, that take note, but I thought an interesting kind of sound bite from him was he said, yeah, the same dimensions uh, in Neyland Stadium as it is right here at the practice field. Yeah. So nothing too big there. He's gonna try to get things started early against Virginia, of course, on September 2nd. So a new face, uh, new faces in the special teams room with Mike Eckler, but guys that have either proven it already at the college football level or have plenty of experience uh, with Jackson Ross, an older aged guy for, yeah. for what he yeah. is uh, class-wise. Uh, so mature kids in that room. Uh, we've also, sorry, you've all, yeah, we've also kind of seen it in college football, Australia, Aussie yeah, got punters true. coming in and yeah. even in this league that have been incredibly successful. So something also to look out for, that there's been a lot of a high success rate of guys who've come through, I think his his program specifically and others in Australia yeah. and just adapting to this league. And I think you're gonna kind of see that out of him this year. Yeah, what was it the, I don't know if he, I don't think he was Australian necessarily, I could be wrong, but the, the guy in Miami that yeah. was like 30 years yeah. old punting. So he yeah. won't be the, the oldest punter yeah. to ever take a college but, football field. And then but. with this team too, to go away from special teams a little bit, you got, you got your Jacob Warrens, your Keenan Peelys. Yeah, there's, Peely. there's a lot of adults and yeah. maturity on this team. I think For that sure. could help too. I, I think that will go a long yeah. way. Uh, 
yeah, in terms of all three phases yeah. of, of the game, uh, in terms of that maturity, even if they haven't been at Tennessee for long, like a Keenan Peely first right, year here, right. uh, Jackson Ross uh, second year here, but first year playing, that maturity should go a long way, leadership wise, just presence on the field, because uh, Jackson Ross also played in front of really big crowds over yeah. in Australia. So he's used to kind of that type of atmosphere and that type of ruckus while he's, he's trying to focus. So should be a kind of a calming sense around all three phases of the game. But that'll do it for us today. We will be back sometime next week for some more interviews as we kind of transition into the more game week schedule instead of this preseason schedule as we're, what, exactly two weeks away yeah. now from yeah. Tennessee football kicking off its 2023 season. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel to stay up to date with everything. Head over to VolReport.com for all of our written content and hop in that message board. We've had some great discussions. You can tell people are excited for football <laughs> season, so there's been a lot of great talk over there. Make sure you hop on over, grab yourself a subscription. But thank you guys for watching.